Hello guys, in previous video, we have learned how to create a product list of uh, food items. In this video, we have a favorite functionality of uh, food items. We have just uh, in tap to favorite icons and add this food item in favorite list. So in this, uh, after adding this and I tap to in this icon, we have just in show in that product in the favorite product list. Okay. So how to create this? We have just to uh, use first we have to create a providers so in pro providers for a file you have to create a product providers extend change notifier because change notifier is one to changes of a list so we have change notifier so first we will initialize an empty list of a private list and then for getting a access of everywhere in file we have created a list of public then I created a wide functions for favorite add Add uh, food item in favorite list for that. If it exists, if a list is exist, then it is removed. Otherwise, is added. And for notify listener to reveal that if uh, it's removed and it's add, it's showing on uh, functions. Okay. So after this, we want a boolean function which is it exist to check the product is exist or not. So that's a uh, Finally, this contain is list, then return edge exist. Okay. Now then, product provider is completed. Then go to main dot file, wrap your material app with the change notifier providers, and create a context product providers. It's clear to everyone. Uh, I think it's clear to everyone. Then we have created a previous video product card. In this video, we have a use that product card as a custom product cards. For that reason, just copy that container uh, its container is here uh, and you have created this container so we copy these containers and paste it in product card file okay so after that we have created a variables and uh, constructors uh, item that we want to changes on demands okay so that reason we have created a con variables and constructor for that variables okay now everywhere uh, we have to join the variables we have used this variables okay uh, so in the in previous folders product list we have called this product card okay and pass the value uh, just like index is index image is uh, product index dot image rating is product index dot rating dot to string and title is a product index dot title and calorie is a product index dot calorie dot to string and item is equal to product items okay so what is the use of this product item okay so it contain all the values of product index means name rating title calories etc so we use this product index to pass the product in fair list okay so in product card we have a icon button okay it's just like a yeah fair icon button okay so in fav icon button you have just small changes just like a providers first you have to initialize providers in widgets dot ref widgets okay in widget builds build context we have created a final provider is equal to providers dot off context off context is a type is provider uh, or product providers okay uh, it's a provider's name so we call these providers we call this providers in everywhere we have to use so in icon button we have called this providers dot exist function and check the item is exist or not okay if item is exist we have icon is favorite icons and if it's not exist icon is our favorite border icon okay both color is red uh, on pressed icon button we have a provider dot add fab in add fab we have explained in providers uh, dot dot file okay so if it uh, exists it added if it not exist it removed okay if it exists it removed if it not uh, exist it added okay i think it's clear to you now we have to go to, uh, go to favorite for uh, fair products okay in fair products we have created a providers dot provider dot of product providers context okay we have called this provider as a fair product okay and fair product is equal to product dot list so we uh, use that fair product to access the product list 
now we have to grid view builders okay grid view dot builder so in grid view builder we have grid delegates and item builder okay so what is the use of grid delegates in grid delegates uh, we have a slivery grid delegates is cross context okay i think it's okay and in this we have a cross con cross axis count is 2 and cross axis spacing is 10 and cross x uh, main axis spacing is 20 and main axis extent is height yeah, all, the all things are explained in previous videos is 220 okay just visit that videos in item builder we have a build context build context okay build context is context and int index okay what is error in this okay the error is gone so in return we have a call product card okay and pass the value just like uh, that and here we want a rating title calories and item okay so how the value is passes we access a uh, we access fair product okay so here we just pass a fair product index dot image okay and in this we have just pass fair product index dot uh, rating but the rating is, is uh, integers rating is double so we have to pass in to a string function to convert in a string title so title is fair product index title okay now one thing is left to use is calories okay calories means a fair product index calories okay but in the item we have passed whole things the right? image rating titles everything so for that we have a fair product index and index all thing is passes that index okay and the calories is double uh, integer type so it is a two string function to convert it and everything is fine okay just uh, review that okay is anything okay string wrap is true and physics is never scrollable okay this it is gone it's take time to rebuild okay we have not added a item count okay the item count is a fab product dot length okay it's work fine it's added it's source okay thank you for watching